Yeah. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha, and my arms are killing me. <laughs> they are killing me just from picking up those things and also from taking the thumbnail for this video because <laughs> these things are damn heavy. Anyway, I want to say the biggest thank you to my girl Margarita from Arteza. You are the kindest most generous, most patient person ever. Thank you so, so, so much for these amazing gifts. I am overwhelmed, I'm overjoyed, and I'm excited. I'm excited to get into it. I'm excited to share with you all what I have received from Arteza. Now, I the reason why I love Arteza is because they deal with art materials that I don't typically use you know so obviously you know that i'm all about resin and of course i use glitter and stuff like that but um you know like paints and that sort of thing i don't do a lot of painting and i want to explore that you know and you know they've got a whole host of different things on their website that i am dying to try um because it's different for me and i'm just so so excited and so happy that i um you know have had the opportunity to to receive <laughs> just all of this. Like, I'm just a bit like, what? But anyway, we are here. <laughs> and thank you so, so much. Okay, so let's get into um, what all these items are. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask you to let me know what you would like to see me do. Give me some ideas because there is a lot of stuff here, okay? And I also have other things from them too, things that I've showed you already in the past. I've got glitters that I still need to use. I've got um, my lovely colouring pens, which I've already done a video on, um, you know, but I want to I wanna see if, you, if, if we can work together on this as a community and you can give me some ideas, you know, and show me what I can do with all of this goodness. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start off small. These are acrylic markers. I think these are so, so cool. I've never seen anything like it before. They have these special nibs, what you put into them, and um, you can actually replace them as well. And on here, it's, it's showing someone decorating their phone case. So it seems that you can literally just paint it on as if it's paint. And I am, I am so, so intrigued by this. So let me just quickly pop it open. Okay, another thing, Arteza, I love your packaging. Your packaging is so professional, it's so, so nice. Your quality with everything, whether it's the materials or the packaging is top notch. I love it, I absolutely love it. By the way, I will be leaving links in the description box below so you can get your hands on these goodies. So don't worry, you won't be left out. And of course, I will have a discount code for you as well. Right, let's have a little look-see. I'm so intrigued, I love, the different colors what you get they're so nice and bright and vibrant let me find the nibs okay so you get some tweezers with it too i guess that's for like pulling the nibs out when you want to replace them i wonder if you can actually get the nibs by themselves that would be quite interesting it seems as well that you have two different ends okay so by the looks of this you have a chiseled end and a pointy end which again is very handy so it's not like a brush, it's kind of, it, it almost feels a bit like a cross between wood and felt. <laughs> it's a weird sort of crossover feeling. Can you guys see that? There we go. Yeah, so that's the chiseled end and then that's the pointy end. Let me see how it looks when I just pop one in. I'm not gonna be doing like a full blown demonstration of these just yet because I want to be at my crafting table and you know do a proper video um, you know, using these items. Oh, there was already one in there. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. So this one actually has a different nib. This one's got a much more, hang on, let me put my arm up again. This one has a much more rounded nib. Can you see that? I wonder, do you have to like, do you have to like push anything at all? No, no. Okay. Let me quickly test it out on some paper. Of course, it would be a machine notebook, obviously. <laughs> right. So let's have a look. Oh, it says to shake it first. That would that would make some sense, wouldn't it? Right, let me just quickly shake it. All right. Shake, pump, and then draw. Okay, so, whoa! <laughs> what you wanna do is just sort of 
press it down like that, you're kind of like pumping the paint onto the nib. Oh, I can see it coming down now, look. If I keep doing that, can you see it starting to bleed down? Do you see that? Okay, so you just keep on pumping it in. And then eventually, there we go. Can you see the paint is starting to come down? Oh, it's starting to come out now. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so surreal. Okay, right, it's fully coming out now. This is so surreal. Oh my gosh, so it's like it's like an acrylic paint, but it's 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 a marker. Oh my gosh. That's it's literally like a paint. Doesn't have any smell whatsoever, so that's really good. I am baffled. This is so cool. Shall I test out one of the nibs as well? Okay, here we go. Very easy. That, that literally just like slid right out. And it has a fine tip on the end there as well. Right, where am I gonna put you? Oh, should have thought about that before. <laughs> this is such an interesting concept. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, pop that back in. And the good thing is as well is that it only can go in a certain amount so you can't like push it all the way through. Right, let's get pumping again. It actually doesn't take that long to pump the paint down. I think it's very quick drying as well. I'd love to try this out on a phone case actually. Okay, bearing in mind, I'm incredibly rusty at this. I haven't done calligraphy in years. So, you know, I don't fully remember how to do it, but there we go, I'll put a little flick on there as well. Look at that. Look at that with this nib. Okay, the game has changed. <laughs> the game has officially changed. This is brilliant. Sorry, I'm just a little bit baffled. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll just keep like staring at it. This is so, so cool. Right, so let me know what you would like to see me do with these markers because that is awesome. Okay, I was a little bit blown away by that. My gosh, right. So what have we got here? Next we have the 10 iridescent colors. All right, so this is the iridescent acrylic paint. Um, again, I'm not going to do like a full blown test. I just literally want to show you what the colours look like. Um, so I'm going to do what I did last time and I'm going to turn the bottles upside down so that you can see the colours. And then when it comes to me actually crafting with them, then you'll be able to see the colours properly. But you get a lot of paint. This is a 60ml bottle. Ooh. I don't know if you're going to be able to get that on camera, but this is a very nice pearlescent iridescent, very, very, very pale pink. It's really, really pale, it's almost white. Okay, let me quickly turn the colors upside down. Okay, so these are the colors that we have. I just feel that I'm not really doing it the most justice by just showing it to you like this. Because these are iridescent, I kind of need you to see the shine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little test of them and I'm gonna put an overlay of it now so that you can see exactly how beautiful that these colors actually are because they are stunning they're really vibrant and they just have just like the slightest slightest fleckle of like pearly very very fine glittery kind of look to them they're so pretty i just keep like doing this i keep like tilting them because they're so so pretty but yeah i want you to see that properly so um yeah i'm going to pop 
a little overlay over this over this video so that you can see. I can't wait to use these. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we have 20 acrylic colors. These ones are not metallic and they're not um, like pearlescent or iridescent or anything. They're just normal colors. Um, last time I had fabric paints and this time I've gone for uh, acrylic paints so that I can just paint anything. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> it seems that there are a few metallics in here. There's a silver and there is a gold as well. Yeah, so there are there are a couple of, of metallic ones here. Let me quickly turn them upside down so you can see. Okay, so these are the colors we are working with. They are so vibrant. Oh my gosh. Look at those. Look at that fluorescent orange there. Oh my God. Once again, I'm gonna put up an overlay of what these colors actually look like on paper so that you can see them properly. But I'm just really, really impressed with the amount of paint that you get. Um, you know, 60 mil, that's quite a lot. You can definitely do a lot with that. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so the next box, this is 25 pieces of wood. All right, we've got some wood slices here. Now, at first, when I was looking through their website and I was thinking about what I would like to get, I was a bit like, oh, like I see people do stuff with wood, but like, would I be any good at that? Would I be any good at that? <laughs> no pun intended, but you know. I wasn't sure if I'd be any good at it. And then I thought, you know what? At the end of the day, you don't know if you're gonna be good at something until you try. Like if I had that same attitude with resin, I wouldn't be where I am today, you know? I wouldn't be where I am and I wouldn't have all 7,000 and something of you. Can we please just take a moment to appreciate the Shasha squad that has grown massively? Jeez, 7,000, where have you not come from? We hit 6,000 just the other day. What's going on? Thank you so, so much. But um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have the same um, sort of, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have this community if, if I'd said, oh, I don't know if I'd be any good at it and just didn't do it. So I got some wood. And you know, I think even on here, it's got ideas, you know, you can write just sort of nice little positive things on there. I could do that with those acrylic markers, you know. But what I was thinking, I see a lot of people do um, like geodes with, with resin. And I've wondered, oh, I wonder what it would be like if I made geodes, but on wood. <laughs> Cause then I could be using the glitters that they gave me as well. So yeah, it's just a, a cool little idea that I had, but let me know what you think. They're a nice size as well. I think this is the three and a half inch, roughly like three and a half to four inch size ones. I think these are the medium ones because they come in uh, two and a half inch ones as well. And those ones have like holes drilled into them so you can sort of string them along. Ah, it's got that really woody smell, naturally, because it's wood. <laughs> oh, they're lovely. And look at that, because it's got like the actual wood grain, I can just follow that and create my own little geode, can't I? I can do that and then maybe cover it with some resin, maybe make it into like a coaster or something. I think that would be so cool. I love it, I absolutely love it. So yeah, there's 25 pieces in there, plenty to get on with. <laughs> Even maybe some nice sort of like autumn style decorations or something, something quite seasonal maybe, because autumn is just around the corner. We are like almost in September now, so yeah. Let me know what you think, if you've seen wood wood slice designs before you know let me know maybe even send me some links to people that i should go and take a look at so i can get some inspiration um but yeah i really would love to have your input on this because i've just received a hell of a lot of stuff and you know sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming when you're trying to think of all ideas yourself so i would love for this to be a collective effort please from the shasha squad thank you very much this looks really interesting to me these are um, disposable palette pads. I have never seen such a thing. So let me quickly pop this open. I also didn't know you were gonna be getting two in a pack. So you've got two packs of 40 sheets and basically you just use it as a palette. And then when you're done, you just rip it off and throw it away. So it's made from 
very strong type of paper. Oh, it feels really sort of waxy. Or is that just a top layer? No, that's how it is. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, is that just, a no, it is. It is really waxy. Wow. And I like that it's even got like the little thumb hole here. So you just sort of pop your thumb through. And then you just, you know, like a professional. Why am I doing it with my left hand? I'm not left-handed. <laughs> That felt so weird. There we go. I really like that. So you can just, you know, hold it and just do all your mixing, get all your palette knives out and do all your scraping, you know, get a bit of Bob Ross on and just paint, you know, some happy little accidents. <laughs> I love it. I really love it. And I think that's great that you get two in a pack. That's fabulous. Okay, two more things to go. We are nearly there. Now this I'm really looking forward to using. This is a case for those pens that I got last time. Remember I got the set of Twee markers last time? Oh, and I really needed a case to put them all in um, just so that I could just have something nice to keep them in because they're lovely pens and I don't want them to just get all mixed up and stuff. But check out this case. Look at the quality of this. This is brilliant. Oh my God. This is awesome. The only thing is, uh, oh, God, it's strong. Oh my God. Look at this. That's so cool. <laughs> I do love storage, even though I am probably the messiest person around. I do love storage. But yeah, the only thing is, the only thing I would say, I think you already know what I'm going to say. It's not really my aesthetic, is it? <laughs> so we're gonna have to change that, honey. So I'm planning to use the fabric paints that I got to paint this and then, um, yeah, basically make it a little bit more me. Um, so expect some pastel, kawaii, glittery, glitzy nonsense to be happening on this. But I really do like how sturdy it is. I love the strap. I love the buckles. I love everything about it. It feels incredibly strong. It's got a little zip compartment here as well for you to put whatever in. I'm very, very impressed with that. Now this isn't the only one that they do. They do a big one as well, a really big long one. And they do another one I think holds slightly less. This one holds, is it 100 and, 108 I think it is? Because I've got 100 markers. I think I went for the 108 one. I think, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, they've got lots of different sizes on the website. So please, please, please do go ahead and check them out. Um, once it's all like filled up, it will sort of sit more like that, I think. Which is just so cute, isn't it? Ain't that so sweet? So now whenever I wanna go and sit outside, I can just take my little bag with me. Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love that. <laughs> and I can't wait to paint it. I just want it to just be, more me you know so it will probably be dessert themed because let's face it i love me some sweet stuff i love the sweetie dessert aesthetic so it will probably have something to do with that sprinkles dripping ice cream that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting with this <laughs> also because that's something that's quite easy to paint on this because this has got a lot of different like compartments and stuff on it and a design like that is a lot more forgiving than something very sort of specific so yeah that's what i think that i might do oh i'm looking forward to that <laughs> thank you so so much okay this is the final one the final box oh my god right wood desktop easel premium honey look at this oh my god <laughs> so i thought that I could um, use this for when I'm like painting on my wood slices um, and and I actually wanted to actually paint the easel itself because I think that it would look really cool if it was in a different colour. So I want to actually decorate said easel. But I think this is fabulous. Let me crack it open. I don't know if I have to like set it up or anything. It looks like it's already all set up. Yeah, it, seem, it seems to be already all set up. Brilliant, I don't have to do any screwing in or anything. Oh my God. Oh wow. I have an easel. Oh my gosh. And this is gonna be good for me when I'm painting because it means I'm not gonna have to be all hunched over, but also it means that I'm gonna be able to like 
angle my phone better to sort of show you what I'm doing because I I'm sort of trying to play around with different angles when it comes to my um, like my arty videos so that I'm not just doing a top-down thing like I, I like to sort of try and play around with different angles and stuff sometimes it's just not possible other times I can do it but having it having my work on an easel it kind of tilts it this way so that you can almost see it directly from my view sort of thing uh, because top down isn't my view my view is more slanted so um yeah oh my gosh let me open this oh my god oh this is beautiful this is so nicely made oh my god oh my god could you imagine this all like fully pastelled out <laughs> this is stunning this is absolutely beautiful and you can you can lower it to like three different levels that one two three yeah yes yeah, so you've got three different levels there you can put it at isn't this gorgeous look at this and then if you open here and open here you have a little drawer compartment and also a palette as well Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Right, let me just take this drawer out. So you get a palette too. So I can put one of those palette sheets on here so that I don't like mess up the palette. I can put a palette sheet on here and then like I can store like paints and stuff in there, my brushes. This is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful, really nicely made, amazing quality. I can't recommend them enough check out my links in the description box below and please go ahead and just knock yourselves out and get creative because this is a brilliant brand this is an absolutely fantastic brand i am like i haven't even started using the stuff yet and already i'm just like oh my god this is amazing the quality is great the quality is great i am so impressed i've always wanted to have an easel like even though I don't do much painting, I've always wanted to have an easel, but now I have one. I have every excuse in the world to get painting and do something different for a change. Oh my God, I'm excited. I'm excited. Now listen, I'm telling you from now, I'm not the world's best painter, all right? I am not, but you got to start somewhere, okay? I can't get over how beautiful this is. Like I really, like I can't, I can't get over how beautiful it is. It's so nicely made. And then you just, you just carry it like that stunning absolutely stunning so you have seen everything that i have received in this humongous bundle <laughs> just to give you a quick recap so we got the acrylic markers which i think are just absolute genius we got the um uh, iridescent acrylic paints and the normal acrylic paints we also got the um wood slices and we got the palette sheets as well and we also got um, the carry case for my tween markers and then we've got the easel. So please, please, please let me know in the comment section below, number one, what was your favorite thing from this video? And number two, what ideas do you have for me to do? What would you like to see me do on this channel? Because at the end of the day, I do this not just for me, I do it for you as well. And I want to make sure that you are enjoying everything that I'm putting out there. If you look in my description box, there is um, a discount code in there for you. So all the information will be in there and you can check out the links uh, to everything that I have shown you in this video as well as well as other things that I have previously used from them, which I just think are absolutely fabulous. Everything I've used so far, I am very, very, very impressed with. Um, thank you again, Margarita, for sending these to me. You are an absolute darling. <laughs> and I cannot wait to put all of these to the test. So if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Mwah. Bye.